All right, so now that we're ready to start videotaping our swing, we wanna make sure that we get the camera set up properly so we're gonna be able to see our swing correctly and be able to draw some lines on there just like we do in the, the checkpoints and the tests that we have in the system. So as I'm, I'm filming from face on, I wanna have the camera about waist high and I want it to be pointing directly to my chest or directly perpendicular to the direction I'm gonna be hitting. So as I set up here, you can see that the camera is pointing directly to the center of my body and I'm about waist high here at the setup. Also, when we're going down the line, I have, you don't always have to have this stick here, but it definitely helps. I want to be shooting down my toes toward my target in the direction uh, in the distance. So I have my camera behind me. Again, it's about waist high. It's lined up down my toes and directly toward my target. So my, my toes are kind of bisecting it. And, and that, that's the reason for this is to make sure that we can get where we swing on plane. So as we're coming back, if the camera is set up too far to the right, then it's going to look like the plane is a little bit off. If it's set up too far to the left from behind us, then it's gonna look like the, the plane is, is off angle a little bit. If I'm shooting directly down my toes toward the target, then I'm gonna be perfectly on plane. I can draw some lines on there and see how good my swing is doing for a variety of things. So make sure you have the camera set up the correct way. You can use your phone. You can use anything you want. Uh, we have some devices on the site that are gonna help you to be able to more easily film your swing with some clips that go in your bag that you can use. And I highly, highly recommend videotaping your swing so you know exactly what's going on and how to get your game better. So I got a bonus for you guys. I'm going to pre preview a lag video and you just have to click the link on the right hand side of your screen or down below in the description. You can see the full thing plus an introductory, an introduction course to our top speed golf system just like I mentioned today. That's really going to help you to boost your speed in several different areas. So good luck to you guys and I'll see you all in the lag video. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I wanna use the full length of this club to build lag and then release lag. 